to the PC efforts of all of the players over the last 25. 48 hours because these two are averaging 100 for the day. And not only are we looking for the first 25. ranking title of the year for these two, but there are other complexities too. With Gary Anderson, if he gets 8 180s in this final, he will set a new daily record for maximums Bullseye. in a Players' Championship day. But it's over three years since this guy won a ranking title. Bullseye. For a Tyski, it's almost 18 months, Mark. Yeah, it is. Ratajski being on an almighty run here, hasn't he? Beating Chisnell, average 107.8. Then beat Brendan 25. Dolan in a last leg deciding. He did two ton plus finishes in the last two legs. And then brushed aside Ricardo Petrak's goal. 109.74 average for him. Game on. But Anderson has been good all day as well. This is a, I think these two are worthy of being in the final today. Very easy for us to say that, but the way that they have controlled themselves throughout Nine the day and utilised their brilliant skill at the right times. It's tremendous to see Ratajski playing so well again. And it's also great to have such a legendary player like Gary playing at such 45. a consistently brilliant level, not just today, but this season. Yeah, he's, he's on the way back, isn't he? Anderson. Ratajski, I think I saw more emotion from him in that semi-final than I've seen in him for... The last few years, he was so pumped up when he won it. And he got to the semis yesterday, so you'd have to argue it's been a really good weekend no, for him. Yeah, he's guaranteed himself £12,000 in ranking money, and that's exactly what you get if you win this title. 180. There's one. Seven to go. <laughs> we will keep count. The record is held by Dave Chisnell and Dirk van Dijvenborder at 35. 93. But he doesn't care about those records. All he wants is another title. Yeah, treble would leave him the bull. Doesn't need to do it, so he'll leave double 97. 16. And Anderson on a possible 13 dart leg to kick proceedings off here. Ratajski. 100. Finding his throw at the moment. So Anderson then double 16 for a hold. Game shot. And that's what he gets, a 13 Dart, hold a throw to kick things off. Started with an 11 daughter against Price in the semi-finals on double 16. I think he might be Nine finding a new seven. friend in the bottom left corner of the board. Well, judging by the way that Ratajski hammered the treble 19 in his semi-final, that might be his friend as well. And he's in the red bit at the top end of the board. Like another one to go with it. 140. And does. It's been a good day of darts today. There's been some cracking games. 60. We've seen Dave Chisnell average 117 today. I think he's going to leave Hildesheim thinking, how on earth didn't I win a title? But he's not here. These guys are. And we did see a 350 and 6 today as well from Gian Van Veen to win a match. Extraordinary stuff against Josh 140. Rock. 140. 180, 170 out to win 6 5. That does not happen very often. It doesn't. 1 2 5. 75 remaining. He's not going to go bull, you know, because the lie was too good to hit the bull again. 100. That was almost wizardry from Ratajski because everybody on planet Earth apart from maybe Christoph would have gone oh, I'll have another 25 and a bull because it's it's fancy but no Anderson on 210 he said I'm going to do it my way the right way Game 13 shot. dart return of serve that was right in the middle wasn't it brilliant 1-1 one, one. and the signs are that this final is going to be of a very high standard indeed 57 Van Gerwen yesterday winning showed that the cream can rise to the top the legends can still win amongst all of the unpredictability uh, of PC two, darts three. right now a win today for Gary it would be his 25th players championship win on top of 6 UK Open qualifiers and an Irish Masters that's not including the one European tour event he's got yes one he might even add to that when he goes to Leovarden at the end of next month. Ratajski's got the same amount of European tour wins as Gary. 
Hasn't got as many 180s as Gary, though, has he? That's three now in the final. We might be looking at a, a record in the making here. I think he's going to smash it, you know. He's got more 180s today than anybody else by an absolute mile. 54. Well, he needs 84 here for an 11 dart finish. Won't quite get it in 11. But he's way in front. 44. And in no rush. So time to set up the tops finish. When you consider what they've done today, this had the potential of being the game of the weekend. 43. Tops for Ando. Lovely marker. Game shot. Absolutely perfect. Just a little glance off that one. In for the 14 data and a 2-1 lead. Before this final, Ratajski was averaging 100.5 for the day. Anderson, 100.1. Less than half a point between them in 12 matches played. Here we go again. 140. Almost shock in Hildesheim that the third one didn't go in. They had their highest finishes of the day in the semi-finals as well. You called in that 170 for Ratajski. You can't get any better than that. And 141 from Anderson against Price, which was pivotal. Was. 100. Steady turn has just got Ratajski potentially on the back foot here. Needs trebles, gets one. Only one, and maybe realising that there is a chance here for Anderson to step in. And Anderson is stepping in. 140. Gets down to another finish. He'd love a 171 here, but the destiny of this leg is not in his hands. Doesn't matter what he does with dart three. It's Nine, really good, six. 96 from there. But Anderson could close him out with a 1-2-1, one, one, possibly on the ball. It's going to be double 14, though. Nine, oh, it moved. Clip the wire, Ratajski. All the ones, and he's in the red bit as well. Hill two. We'll be looking now at double 16 for another three dart. Game Check shot. out, and again, it's right in the middle. A leg that Ratajski looked like losing. He takes out 1-1-1, one, 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 and we're all level again at 2-2. Two, two. Two, Just goes to show, doesn't it? You've got to give yourself something gettable if your opponent misses their chance. 111 is very, very gettable because it's single, it's treble, it's double. If you're leaving yourself two treble combinations to win a leg, it's much more difficult. But if you can get below 130, you've got a fighting chance. 57. They've only played each other once, these two. When you think about how long they've been around, Gary's been playing top-level darts for 25 years. Ratajski's been around for a very long time as well. they played each other once. And it was a brilliant game as well. They both averaged over 100, and Ratajski won it. Yeah. He's flying at the moment, isn't he? The Polish eagle. Looking back, when you consider he had those two Tumplus finishes against... Brendan Dolan, in the last 11 legs he's won, he's had five ton plus checkouts. That's what his game's all about. He had 10 maximums coming into this final to Gary's 28. So he's not a big maximum hitter. But you get him to the end of the leg, he's lethal. And when that double 16's working, don't give him a shot at it. Well, Anderson is going to get another look. This time at 1-2-1. One, would only be for a holder throw, and Ratajski here... 95. Well, he's not happy with 95, but it's left him on a potential two-dart finish. Anderson needs 17s, doesn't get them, so a chance for a break of throw here for Christoph Ratajski. He might have to rely on tops this time, but he's gone for the aggressive double four leave. 68. So Anderson back for double 12 and a hold of throw. Game and he shot. gets it. Breathe a bit of a sigh of relief there. You can see from his reaction, he's happy to get that one under his belt. We remain on throw. You know how cheesed off Ratajski was about 2022? Not winning. 
it was a very strange feeling for him because if you think about his journey over the last few years. 140. He was on the Challenge Tour. He won on the Pro Tour whilst still on the Challenge Tour. In fact, he won everything backwards. I love talking about this because it makes no sense. No, he won a major no. first in the World Masters. Then he won on the PDC Pro Tour at Players' Championship level. Then he won on the Challenge Tour next. He did everything the wrong way around. 91. But if you think about his career as a whole, he didn't win in 2022, but he'd won every single year in the circuits that he'd been on since 2015. S 60. He won a 60. WDF event in 2016, then he won the World Masters in 2017, and then he's been a PDC player ever since. Well, he's lost the darts here, and Anderson oh, he couldn't one. get to the red bit, could he? Might have been better switching there, Gary. So Rutaisky will breathe a sigh of relief, but he's running for cover here. And can't find it. Oh, that's a 40. poor visit. So just a little bit of a lull for the first time in this final. But Anderson says, that's enough of that. Let's get back to the big numbers again. 40. And he's down to 89. And a potential break of throwing coming. You wonder what the engine's like for these players. It's been 97. a bruising couple of days. Anderson might need the ball. Game and he gets the ball. For a 4-2 lead, you can see what it means to him. That big tap of the right thigh. You don't get much from Anderson in these games. But he's just showing you how much he wants this. That is very encouraging for Gary Anderson fans and himself. It is. And what a way to start the seventh leg. 140. Ooh, another maximum went begging there. One thing Ratajski has is experience of winning a players' championship in this building. He's one of only one three players that have done G4. that. MVG yesterday, Brendan Dolan and Ratajski when they were here in 2019. In that final, he won 8-7 against Dimitri Vandenberg. It wasn't a brilliant final. But he will want to recall that experience and see if he can get out of the jam again. One and there's a 180 for Ratajski. Yeah, he's only a breakdown, isn't he? And he's taking the darts here off Anderson. But Anderson will be first to get a look at a finish. But can Ratajski leave this? Maybe a one or two dart finish. Oh, he needs a treble. And he gets no, one. Good last one. start. Really wants this. Really wants it. Game Gets shot. it! What a shot from the Flying Scotsman! That is seismic here in Hill Design. Back to back ball finishes for Gary Anderson. Moritzowski delivered the big fish in the semi final, but it's Anderson in the final. Who's got it? He's opened up a three leg lead here. 100. And Ratajski now is under big pressure. That was brilliant from Anderson. Did you see how measured he was just before that first dart? It was as if to say, I'm going to pop this right in the top of that 60 because that second dart doesn't have a choice. It's joining it. I think a lot of darts fans who are watching this live 100. have been watching Gary for a very long time. And maybe they haven't seen him this driven for some time. And I have to say this, because I've been thinking about it for weeks. Not being in the Premier League suits 134. Him. Yeah. There's a lot of travelling that goes with that. A lot of responsibility that goes with it. Well, he's here fully focused. 95. Now Ratajski doesn't need to go for the big one. But we want him to hit it. Come on. Oh, unlucky. That would have been the ultimate two shot. It would, but it's a great layup, isn't it? And Anderson now will probably expect Ratajski to hit this double 18. 64. If you're going to miss it, miss it just outside on the low side. Game shot. That's even better. He's only hit three doubles in this final so far, Ratajski. They've all been in the middle, haven't they? It's been a decent match so far 
But Anderson, despite 77. that 170 heroic finish, he's still only one break in front. And Ratajski, if we know anything about him, he'll just keep throwing, he'll keep playing his own game. In a funny sort of way, that'll be good for Gary because it'll just keep him focused. 130. I know he's a great front runner and he showed that in the semi-finals against Price. But sometimes you need to be reminded by your opponent just how dangerous hey, they G5. are. And Ratajski is someone who you can't get rid of. 106 average for Anderson just before this leg began tells you a very affluent story. Yeah. Was runner-up in players' 59. championship five, wasn't he? Gary Anderson when he lost 8-6 uh, to Ross Smith. Want to go one better than that here today. 96. He yeah, lost to Ross Smith that day, and his last title win was against Jeff Smith. Is this just one a 170 race? We're going to see another one, aren't we? Well, he might have to go for it this time. Well, Gary's not going to score 73. 97. Get something a little bit more fruitful. But Ratajski might get this if he gets the first dart in the lower half of the 60. Misses out. And if Anderson likes double 16 these days, he's probably better 94. off going for the 19s here, but he probably won't do it. No, but that's a good lead from Ratajski. And this would be for a breaker throw. And Anderson. 100. Well, he's left a two dart finish. We might not get a look at it. Ratajski, these are big moments in this final for the pole. And that's a great first dart. Double eight incoming. Game and again, he gets it. And again, we see a flicker of emotion from Christoph Ratajski, who now will be throwing at the start of the 10th leg to level up at 5 5. Sometimes. Players like Ian White and Christoph Ratajski do not get the kind of credit they deserve for just how good they are. Because they're not known as red carpet, flashy dark players. They just 100. get up there and do it. But you can't ignore the fact that Ratajski for the last five years has been incredible. But after his worst PDC season to date, he's fixed it. Six. He's figured it out. He's on the comeback trail towards a title. And even if he doesn't win today, he is definitely trending in the right direction. Well, semi-final and a final at the very least for him this weekend. He's got to be careful here. 140. Oh, that's a lovely last dart. Just keeps him in front. Having broken, he does not want to be broken straight back. Is it a 180? One it's another one. Choking it up. That's number four. He's halfway to the record. It's meaningless. But it gives us something to talk about. He'd rather have the 1-2-1 one, one than any more 180s. In That's the final, Ratajski doesn't even leave a finish. That was an error, wasn't it, from Ratajski? He should have gone downstairs. And that means that Anderson 89. didn't need to go for the ball, but Ratajski will be ruined. The fact there, had he changed, he would have had a shot at 170. So the break might be 59. broken straight back. Game shot. So good on that 32 bed now. He's always been good at every double, but the fact that he's a bit more flexible with his leaves now make him possibly a more potent threat and look at the smile, he's enjoying it. Both players just having a, a refreshment, a slight pause in proceedings. 40. And Anderson, only 40, so the door ajar for a Tyski. I know Gary's never beaten Christoph in their one meeting, which is a bit of a joke. But I think Christoph is a good opponent for Gary Because he does nothing. He says nothing. He's a pure player. He's the kind of person that Gary likes to play. Whenever he's up against someone who likes to give it some or someone who is a bit grunty, he's got to just hold himself in check a little bit. He's not going to have anything like that to worry about with Kristoff. No, the only thing he's got to worry about with Ratajski is his darts. And at the moment, Ratajski's looking now to make it three successive breaks in this final. He's in front. What can he do here? Stay there. a treble. Doesn't 59. get one. Not the end of the world, but it 
Could be an Anderson. Gets first chance. Oh, that's beautiful. That's two darts. Oh, look. It's another 170 leave. It's as if they're going for a record of that. I promise you they're not. It's just good play. 100. He wanted more. He wanted to leave 67. He can't do it again. Not this time. Now it's all about leaving it handy, isn't it? And that's 60. not great. 107 Ratajski then. Just on the top wire. Will come south. Gets the treble. Getting a dart here. Can't get 85. double 18. Will that be costly? Will Anderson step in for hold of throw? That little pause that he had before the 170 was just like that. It doesn't work this time. 58. Ratajski's got a decision to make. Decision made. Got to go above that one. That's really awkward. He's going really high. No score. Run out of room. Well, you were asking, would he, would he split? He didn't. And that might have done his chances here as Anderson, 12 for tops. To go within one of victory. Game shot. And he does go within one of victory. Ratajski missed right at the vital time. And Anderson steps in. And he's now three legs clear. 140. He's been a brilliant closer over the years. Now he's going to get multiple chances. 100. How many times do we see it that someone of the experience and the brilliance of a two-time world champion, their ability to just get the job done when they have 100. their first chance? That's exactly what Gary wants now. Is it going to be another 8-4 final? It would be the fourth this year in players' championships and the third in a row. I think Ratajski might be about to spoil that little trend. Well, first time in this final, he's gone at a treble seven. Leaves him on a bogey number. Players of Gary Zilk, you know, he grew up on the fact that you get a bonus break of throw and all you have to do is serve it out. Make sure you get the one break, and then you, you make sure you're, you're not broke. 78. That's what he's thinking right now. I've got the breaks I need. It's okay. This is just a bonus opportunity. I'll get it done when I throw first next time. 140. Well, he's left to finish. So, Ratajski, 85. Might get one. Oh, that's a nice start. That's a very nice start. Right. That is a lovely combination finish from Ratajski. Wasn't worrying about the bullseye. It was a gamble if he missed. Then Anderson would have had a shot. But Anderson is oh, worrying about his own maybe. throw. It's another maximum. I make that 33 for the day. It is an elite effort on that treble 20 bed. 60. And that 180 right there has caused Christoph a massive headache. Hold on. Oh, he's got another one. He doesn't want the record, I assure you, because he wants to finish the whole day with a nine daughter. Surely not. Hildesheim has been a hotbed of nine dart finishes this week. Won't get one here, but we've had plenty of laugh yes. from Gary Anderson. Yeah. It's a laugh of someone that's 240 odd points in front in the final, needing one leg for victory. One hundred and twenty. But he leaves it one. handy enough. It might not be the nine, but it might be ten. He's had eight treble twenties in this leg. Forty-two. And a single one. Is it two segments to leave a match dart? No oh, and he's score. got too many. But he's got ten on his side. Yeah. Well, Christoph Ratajski had given up, and then his eyes lit up, and then he realised, oh, I'm 340 points away. Just for a moment, his heart flickered. Anderson surely won't miss again. Double five. That's a lovely marker. But Gary Ten. Anderson does miss again. He hasn't closed it out in clinical style. More the matter is, he's got more chances coming up. 
Gary Anderson is back Gary Anderson. in the winner's circle. It's been over three years <laughs> since he's won a ranked event. He's worked really hard for it at the start of 2023. He averaged just short of 100 in the end, and that 170 checkout was just delightful. But 50% on the doubles and almost 50% for a tie ski gave us a 13-leg thriller here at the end of Players' Championship 8. It has been fantastic, but I'm going to leave you with one more statement before Dan Dawson talks to Gary Anderson. Gary Anderson is back. We're talking into that one there. Which one? That one. That one there. That one. That, that one. That, that one, one, Gary. You can see, you can see well enough yeah. to go and win your first PDC title for three years. What's the winning feeling like? I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm playing well. Like I said, uh, we had this conversation well when I told you I wasn't practising, which I wasn't, but now I'm practising. And it's, it's going all right. Last Saturday, I'm struggling with the, the long days, I must admit, you know. I'm used to me and Ryan can rattle off 78 legs, two, two and a half hours. This is 10 in the morning till whatever time it is now. You made that final against Ross Smith just a, a week or so ago. Yeah. And you said afterwards that, yeah, fatigue, it was just too long a day, I wasn't quite able to sustain it. Have you learned from that in the space of a week? Yeah, I was in bed at nine o'clock, but I'm so bloody knackered. I'm absolutely <laughs> knackered, you know. No, what, I tell you what, I must admit, I read a wee tweet from Nicholson saying I'm one of the world's worst losers. I'm going to have a wee chat with him when I get him on the corner because there's losing and there's been done over. So which one's been a bad loser? Is it the Gary gets getting beat, hands up, you played well, boy? Or is it the boy that's effing and blinding in your ear? So I've had that in my head today and I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, well, yeah, I'm gunning for them. I'd I, I, I'm gunning for them. I look forward Just to as well you went Paul because I, I, I look forward you by to now. seeing that conversation yeah, later. Yeah. Um, however, you're not a loser today. You're a winner, Gary, and it's the first time in quite a long while. At the start of this year, you had a choice, didn't you? You had uh, a choice. No, about you, what you to had do. a choice. You wrote me off. Well, I'm just here to give you a sore head and piss you off. Well, what you've which what, I'm doing quite well, to be honest. You had a choice, <laughs> yeah. and it was knuckle down, go to Euro Tour qualifiers. Yeah. You gone on the Euro Tour again? That's years since you've been on the Euro Tour. But who's daft? At one stage of my life, I was going to need them, and I've got them. Well, you, so who's the, who's the stupid boy? No, no. <laughs> no. It'd be a delight to have you back on yeah, the Euro Yeah, too. I'm going to play. I've said that. When I was in the Premier League and that, I wasn't travelling. I wasn't going to wait five, six days a week. You know, I've got young kids and that. I, I, I missed them, my, my last kids, because I was way out of time, but this time I'm, I ain't doing it. So now I've got the week at home, do the year tours, and back home. Looking forward to be back on the Euro Tour? I've enjoyed this weekend. I've actually enjoyed it. I thought I'd be... Oh, two flights and a hour taxi, but it's been good. I'm here with young Jamie Clark and, and Whitey, so right about last night, something to eat, bed by half nine, 10 o'clock. Yeah, good. And as you've said before, if you practice, if you put the hours in, good things happen. You've been putting the hours in with Ryan Searle, haven't you, on a yeah, regular basis? Yeah, I have, yeah. I told you I wasn't before, nobody would believe you, but now I'm practicing. Well, so here we go. Uh, to be fair, it's Ryan's, a toss up, isn't it? Ryan Searle has already won one of these titles this year. Uh, did, he could have won about three. Oh, yeah, he could have done. <laughs> he could have won about more three, finals. Yeah. Uh, he, he's been saying all the way through this year, I've been playing with Gary, he's playing incredibly, he's going to win one of these. First thing he did, about, about like quarter final, semi final time, message comes through, I told you totally. so. I'm surprised yeah. it took this long. Yeah. Are you surprised? No, honestly, I'm just playing darts. You know, I'm actually enjoying it. It's been it's been hard. It's been something that I've not wanted to. I don't want to come and play darts. That was the last three years. I don't want to play darts. I don't want to be here. Rachel's chucked these out of the house, made me play darts. Ryan's pulled me in. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm playing darts again, and I'm I'm enjoying it. You know, I've, I usually come here and I've got a face like fuzz because I've had two flights and a taxi. Same again on Wednesday when I go home. But no, I've enjoyed it. We've had a good laugh. Big time European darts is fun, isn't it? It's great. I don't know, it's been long. Yeah, it's great. This, is, this. this, is, this, is, this is a PC. This is a <laughs> Players' Championship. <laughs> it's not European, but uh, no, no, it's getting there. It is getting there. What are the goals then this year? Because the, the, what you've done on the Pro Tour is pushing you back into the, into the match play places and stuff like that. Because you're going to have to really graft on the Pro Tour to get into a lot of these TV tournaments now. If I don't do it, I don't do it. I ain't going to lose sleep over it. <laughs> I'm telling you that now. I'm just here to play darts. What to do, you know? Like you say, Paul says I'm a bad loser. Yeah, well, we'll see. What do you want to achieve this year? You've still got things you want to tick off. You want to win Grand Slam. I'd like the Grand Slam. That's a bit it. That's a bit it. But you know what? I've I've spent 28, 29 years of my life out of suitcase. I like being at home. So, you know, for me to come here, play darts, 
it's a step forward. Well, there's still a, there's a life in the old dog yet, Gary, yeah. isn't there? Didn't as you, proven today. It's going, what a fuck headaches, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, like good that. I, I like that. I he like that. He does like it, and he likes winning, <laughs> and he's a magnificent winner.